Brett, you can study Islam all you want, but if you don't make the commitment, make Islam your faith, then you are going to burn in hell. And I appreciate that. I appreciate if you knew there was a cliff over there and, it, and I was going to walk off the cliff, you'd say, hey, Brett, don't walk off the cliff. We want you to be here with us. And I appreciate that. But the problem is that particular argument has completely worn thin on me. I was raised in a Christian household by Christian relatives. I have Christian grandmothers. I have a Baptist grandmother and a Christian science grandmother. And they were pulling at us kids, not intentionally, but they didn't like, it's like Shia and Sunni. They didn't like each other's policies. And it was a constant battle as to where our faith was gonna be because there was fear on both sides that if it wasn't the right type of Christianity that our souls would not be saved. And I have met scholars and wise people throughout my life. All my friends and all my relatives are almost all Christians. They tell me, and they make it very clear, if I don't embrace Jesus Christ as my Savior, I am burning in hell. I meet Muslims, same thing. Um, some, many have not said, said, hey, I don't speak for God, I don't know. But either I choose Islam and all my Christian friends, most of them, are convinced that I'm going to burn in hell. Or I choose Christianity, and all my Muslim friends are convinced I'm going to burn in hell. Either way, I've got a large population of people that are, cons that are no matter what, are going to damn me. Or condemn me. Or let me know that I'm condemned and damned. And I'm not talking to you, my Muslim, mostly Muslim, and Christian friends on this site, who've already made it clear to me that you're not damning me, condemning me, or judging me and you just want the best for me. I understand and I appreciate you and I'm not lumping you in there with them. I'm in a funny place between faiths, but I do believe in one God. If you're a Muslim and you're and everybody in your town is Muslim and all your relatives are Muslim, is that a big leap for you to be a Muslim? It's expected, you should be a Muslim. You're in Muslim country. I should be a Christian. I'm in Christian country. That's why religions stay away from each other. Separation between faiths, because it's so much easier. If I, if I was to embrace Islam, I would immediately cut off a large percentage of the people that raised me. <sighs> it's tricky. It's a tricky situation. And I'm not stupid. You know, I'm not dumb about this. But no matter what, if I choose one or the other, I'll, um, one one says, oh, you're one of us now. And the other says, ah, you're one of them now. And you're going to burn in hell. Too bad. I'm so sorry. Ours is the right one. We can prove it. My side says that too. Your side says that too. This side says that. They all said that. If you're a Muslim and you've debated Christians online, how many of you converted? How many of you logically, how many times have, as a Muslim, have you met a Christian and, and said, hey, look, here's the Quran. Our, our book is so much more logical than yours. Let me show you all this. How often, what percentage of the time, when you meet a Christian, when you show him all the facts, does he say, oh, you're right, it's a better religion, I'm moving over. I bet it almost never happens, and vice versa. So who's right? God knows. I'm sticking with God for right now. It does get tiring being reminded on a daily basis that you're gonna burn in hell. It's tiring. I get very tired of my grandmother. My grandmother was dying. I said, I said, Grandma, I'll see you in heaven. She said, no, you won't. Because you have not embraced Jesus Christ as your Savior. Just do it now. Just say the words. Just do it now. Say Shahada. Do it now. Just say it quick. You could die any minute. Say it. But one excludes the other. What do I do? Why, why am I doing this then? I guess that would be the next question. Why, why am I here? How did I get myself in this position? Why am I doing this? Well, I had a vision. After, after I battled cancer, I started dealing with the suffering of others. For the first time, I was always a selfish, rich kid. For the first time in my life, after nearly dying from cancer and having terminal diagnosis and all these other things, I started considering the pain and suffering of others. And along with that, all of a sudden, it dawned on me one day, I said, you know, this Palestinian thing is wrong. And that's what got me into this the whole deal with the Palestinians, and I was so amazed that so much bad press was going out about the Muslims and that nobody was saying the obvious. And if a Muslim said the obvious, no one would listen to them. I thought, you know what, as a non-Muslim, I'm uniquely 
qualified, with no biases, to speak the truth, not even knowing anything about Palestinians or Muslims, I knew when what, the things I heard about them were wrong. You can't demonize society. You can't convince me that any society is inherently ruined or corrupt because any mass of people is inherently like any other mass of people. We're all just humans. I knew that intuitively. I didn't know it until I got sick and nearly died. Then I started waking up and thinking about it. Anyway, that's how I ended up here. And what's kept me here is there are these people that I've met since I've been here. And I wonder, am I on the right path? Is this working? People on the internet who I've befriended, who befriended me, we have a special relationship. And you're Muslims, mostly, but other faiths as well and some people who have no faith at all, but uh, mostly Muslims, my collective group, and we have something, we have a relationship. Trust, mutual respect, and you guys are what keep me doing this because I feel safe. Um, despite when people make me feel unsafe, you come in with the voice of reason, and, and I, I don't know what faith, when I die, what faith I'll be. Maybe someday I'll take Shahada. I, uh, or make shahada. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I'm on a journey right now. And I've enjoyed this fasting. Man, and my brain is on fire. Whoa!